Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra Solomon and this is... I'm Rotten Rebel. Yes, and we are going to have fragrance fun today. So this is a channel where we talk or I talk a lot about fragrances and sometimes you visit. Yeah. But of course, Rotten Rebel has his own channel. I and do. you don't want to miss that one. You so don't. You will find the link in the description. You will. So what do they find on your channel? Everything about fragrances. Yeah, yeah, you really do. So head on over and subscribe, like right now. No, wait, after this no, video. No, first you watch this video, yeah. then you like the video, then you subscribe to my channel, and then you go over to Rock mm -hmm. and Rebel mm -hmm. and do just the same things. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get started. We are going to go through 10 cheapies for mm -hmm. women. And uh, these are all uh, cheapies that I really like. Um, some of them are my true favorites, mm -hmm. uh, but they are all really worth the money. Mm. But I wanted to get a man's perspective on mm -hmm. these fragrances. So that's why you're here. Mm. So cool. I am going to let you try out um, the fragrances on the test strips. And then I am going to tell you about the fragrance and you are going to tell uh, me and you <laughs> what you think about them. Cool, and let's also do this. Rate them. Yes. Yes. So let's get started with the first one. So the first one is a powdery white floral, woody and sweet fragrance. Mm. And I do think that you might know this one. Mm, I recognize it. Yeah. So um, in the top we have some citrusy notes, some peach. Mm -hmm. Then we have heliotrope, tuberose, uh, jasmine, mm. uh, vetiver, musk, sandalwood, caramel, mm. and some other notes. Mm. I don't know which one it is, but I can't pick up the um, sort of a floral aspect of it. There's something sweet uh, in it as well. And yeah, it is powdery, but it's not insanely powdery. Uh, this one was a really nice one. I like yes. it. Okay. So if you are going to rate this one? Mm, between one to what? One to five. One to five. Yeah. Um, this is, this is pretty good. Uh, and, uh, for a cheap, it's really good. So I'm going to put it at four. Wow. Yeah. This yeah, is nice. That's really good. Yeah. I enjoy this one. Yes. And uh, yeah, this is, um, I would say this sort of a borderline on something that is actually sexy. Okay. So uh, this one would be perfect for a date if you if you want that. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy this one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna tell you which one it is, and the one you are smelling is one that you recommended to me, mm. and it's Darage Pour Femme. Ooh. Yes. So this is Darage. Ah, okay. Mmm, yeah, yeah, now I can. It's a really yeah. good one. This is actually one of my favorites. Mm. Yeah. yeah, this is, uh, I think this one, Darage Pour Femme is even better than the male one. Yes. Uh, and if you are a guy watching this, then I suggest you actually pick the, this one up as well, because I think it's fairly unisex. Yeah, I agree. So, good point. Mm. Let's uh, try the next one. Yep. So uh, the next one we are going to try out is actually one that there is not so much information about on Fragrantica. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to read you any notes. Uh, you are just going to tell us what you can pick up, if you can pick up anything, uh, and what you think about it. Maybe something like uh, berry-like. I'm not sure if it's black currant or something like that. Yeah. And a floral aspect and maybe musk at the base or something. Okay. Mm, I like it. I'm gonna guess that this is one of the one from Rasasi. Yeah. Um, because you can sort of uh, you can smell that this is a Rasasi. Mm. This one is not as sweet as the other one, so uh, they are quite different. Yes, they are. Um, I think this is this is pretty damn good for a cheapie. It uh, really is. And uh, you said that it was a Rasasi. It is, and ah. it's one that you have actually recommended to ah. me. Uh, so yeah, Rasasi makes cheapies, and not all of their cheapies are awesome, but a lot of them are really, really nice. And they smell way more expensive than they are. Uh, and that's the case with this one. And I really like it. 
I think this one is like 3.75 or oh. 4. It's really good as yeah, well. Yeah, that's good. So if you have to decide on one. Mm, this is, I'm going to say they are so different. The other one is more powdery and more sweet. And this one to me is more sort of, a, it's not as sweet and a bit more maybe floral or something. So they are so different. So I would say since we are talking about cheapest, get both. And yeah. you're going to have something that is sweet and something that is less sweet. Perfect. Yeah. So the one you uh, smell, do you have any guess or do you just want me to tell you? Mm, could it be maybe the sh Shura or Shaghaf? No, no, this is Fattan Porfam. Oh, Fattan yes. Porfam. Ah, I have that one. Yeah, you uh, do. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's a nice one. And you can usually find it below or just hovering around 20 bucks. Yes. So it's, uh, that's you, like a no-brainer. You also have the male version. Yeah. And what do you think about that one? Mm, the male wor version is sort of a focus on vetiver which ah. I'm not that uh, fond of. So it's a good one, but it's not my favorite. Oh, okay. So I actually prefer the female one. Okay. So uh, 3.75. Yeah, or for four. Fatan for Yeah. For her. For yeah, for her. For her. For her. For her. For her. For her. <laughs> the female version of Fatan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's put it that way. Yeah. So uh, let's try the next one and mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you about it while you're sniffing it. And this is a white floral powdery musky iris fragrance. Mm. And it has notes such as almond, lemon and coffee, iris, lily, tuberose, jasmine, musk, vanilla, sandalwood and amber. Mm. Yeah, I get the woody part. I definitely get the floral part as well. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a tuberose. Um, and you can really feel the sort of a musky aspect of it as well. I don't think this is as powdery as the first one though. No, I agree. Um, I'm not sure I pick up that much of the almond. No. So this is not something like uh, an almond heavy. Uh, no. But I like it. Mm, and I'm really curious on what it is. Uh, is uh, do you find any resemblance with some other fragrance? There is one that I think this is very, not exactly the same, but pretty close. I'm going to guess that this is another Rosasi. I yeah, could be wrong. It is. Um, and I'm going to guess on the same thing that I uh, guessed on last, uh, with the last fragrance. Mm -hmm. This is Shaghaf Pourfait, maybe. Yes, mm. and you just turned this into a blind sniff, a real blind sniff. And that mm. was a great guess. But you can, so, uh, the, the thing with the Rasasi, like I said before, they are so good uh, that uh, I sort of uh, guessed that this had to be a good cheapy, which Rasasis usually are. Yeah. Uh, and I, yeah, I did recognize some parts of it, but I wasn't sure what it was. But this is really nice. And I'm going to say this is maybe three and a half or 3.75. It's not as good as the two previous ones. Okay. Uh, but it's it's really nice. And if it's a cheapie, which it is since it's on this list, uh, then it's like another no brainer. It is. And uh, actually, uh, I get reminded of uh, Dior's Shador with mm -hmm. this one. I have done a review on this one earlier. I can link to that uh, above. Mm. Um, it's not exactly the same, but they really remind me of each other. And this is so much cheaper than the Shador. So mm. if you don't have the money to buy Shador, maybe you should try this one out. Mm, nice. Yes. So I think this is like one fifth of the price of Shador. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. yeah. So let's try another one. Mm, yeah. Okay, so moving on to another one and let's try out this. Mm. So here you have a soft and spicy vanilla fragrance that is also sweet and fruity. Mm. Some of the notes is licorice, dewberry, chili pepper, uh, champaka, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, red rose, lotus, vanilla, leather and amber. And I think you might guess which one this is. Yeah, this, this is really unique um, and awesome one. And I bought it and I recommended it to you. Yeah, you did. This one is... Um, the brand that I always forget <laughs> the name of it, it's yeah. the lingerie brand. Yeah, Agent Provocateur. And it's Vanille Fatal. Uh, uh, Fatal. Fatal Intense. Fatal Intense, yeah. Yes. Um, Fatal Intense. Yeah. It's an awesome, 
awesome uh, really fragrance and for the price i believe i bought mine for maybe 25 bucks for it's a really 30 good. mil or something and yeah. it smells a lot more expensive and it's really really sexy yeah and the thing about this one is that it really draws in the compliments so I kind of forgot, mm. I've forgotten about it for a couple of months and mm. then I used it again and the first day I had it on I got a compliment the first person I met. Mm. So this really is, and it just kept on going. Mm. Um, so I'm using this more often now because those compliments are mm. really nice. Yeah, this is, I, I would say this is like a no-brainer for any woman if you enjoy sort of uh, those sort of uh, fragrances that are a mix of something sweet, uh, something like berry-like, yeah. something a bit fruity. I'm not sure if there are any woody notes in this one, uh, um, but uh, No, but the, uh, there's leather. Uh, uh, leather. And uh. what, they, what it also has is that chili pepper that really mm. gives it that edge. Yeah, this is this is really really nice, uh, yeah. and I actually received compliments for this one as well. So this is another one that I feel is unisex. Uh, it's slightly gourmanding in a way. Yeah. Uh, works beautifully on both men and women. So if you're a woman, get this one. Uh, if you're a man, go get this one. <laughs> yeah. So did you give it a rating? Mm, I don't think so. No, I didn't. But no. um, I mean, for a cheapie, this is at least four and a half. Yeah. yeah that's good yeah yeah so almost sort of a borderline to a perfect like five I actually uh, agree. but yeah four and a half at least yes okay so four at least four and a half yeah. for uh, fatal intense from agent provocateur yeah so trying out the next one and it's this one mm -hmm. so here you have a fruity ozonic woody and salty fragrance also a little bit powdery um, with some vanilla in the base, some sandalwood and patchouli as well. In the top we have ozonic notes, salt, blackberry, bergamot, mm. uh, and some fruits and florals in the middle. Mm. And uh, I, I really uh, enjoy this because this one is quite different from the rest of the ones that we tried in this list so far. Yes, uh, really and you can get a feel for that sort of ozonic light uh, I'm not going to say aquatic, but you no. get that sort of yeah. um, fresh feeling to it. And this really deviates from the kind of fragrances that I usually tend to like. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy, happy about this cheapie that brings something completely different to my collection mm. and for a really good price. So yeah, uh, it's pretty much uh, all of those notes that you mentioned. Yeah. And uh, this one is uh, like uh, really beautiful. Uh, light, bright, uh, smooth, I would say, uh, and sort of a summery fragrance that I think would be perfect if you are um, like going out on a warm day yes. or if you are going on a vacation to someplace warm like a beach or you're going to be by the pool or you're going to go to the pool bar or you're going to go out and have fun with your friends during a warm evening. Then you spray this one on and you're going to smell pretty damn good. Yeah. So if you're going to rate this one. Mm. Mm, this is so tough because I feel that this is a really good one, but it's so different from the intense one that, okay. we, that I just gave four and a yeah. half to. So um, I feel that this one, for a cheapie that is light, bright, and really nice, like a summer kind of fragrance, uh, this one is at least a four. Okay. It's really nice. Yeah, that's a good rating. So the one you were smelling was Abercrombie and Fitch. Mm. Um, light, no. <laughs> the name is First Instinct Blue. Mm. Yeah. So, four. Four. For First and, Instinct um, Blue. And I remember that we did like a blind sniff. Uh, no, not blind sniff. First impressions yes. of First Instinct Blue, I think, yes. for the men. Yeah, we did. And that one was quite different from this one, but we both agree that that was really nice. Yes, that was really so, nice. And if uh, I don't uh, remember it incorrectly, I think it was a lot of apple in that one. Mm, yeah. Frozen apple yeah. or something. So um, what I wanted to get to is that it feels like, uh, based on just those two that I tried from Abercrombie and Fitch, that they do fragrances that are actually quite nice. Yes, um, I agree. So yeah, this one was really nice. Highly recommended. 
Okay, so let's check out the next one. So now I have the next one here. And in this we have, it's a sweet floral citrus green and fruity fragrance. Mm -hmm. okay. And we have notes like rhubarb, mandarin orange, pink grapefruit, uh, peony, magnolia patterns, jasmine, sandback, macarons and patchouli. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I think this this is pretty cool because this one has some sweetness to it, but there's the the rest of the mix that you mentioned. Yeah. Um, it's hard to sort of describe it. It feels, it's really nice. That's yeah. that's pretty much all I can say about this one. Um, but there's something about it that makes it sort of a less, at least to my nose, something that I enjoy a little bit less than the previous ones. Yeah. Um, Still, it's really nice. I'm gonna give it like a three point seventy five. That's also. I think a good this rating. is yeah. This is yeah. this is a nice one. It's just not as nice as the other ones, but it's still really really good. Yeah. Um, and you actually have tried this one before, mm -hmm. um, and I think you said about the same uh, about mm -hmm. it then mm -hmm. that you really like it. Which one is it? Um, it's uh, Eau de Lacoste L twelve twelve Sparkling Collector mm -hmm. Edition for fun with Jeremyville Lacoste fragrances. So this is like the longest fragrance name yeah. in the history. Yeah, that's a yeah. <laughs> that's a too long. Yeah. Uh, too, I could never go to the store and, and remember no, what I no. was going to ask for. <laughs> well, this one is really nice. I can't pick up that sort of a macaron scent, but then I don't think I know how macarons no. smell like. Uh, I've just eaten them. Uh, yeah. But do you feel, because the name includes sparkling and that's actually what I think. I ah, think it's kind of sparkling, ah, okay. kind of bubbly. Uh, but it's, this one is really, really nice. Uh, but I believe you once told me that you felt that the sort of uh, performance of it wasn't that good or? Yeah, uh, this is one that I actually have to spray on uh, quite a lot mm. to uh, feel that I still have it on. Mm. Um, but. For a cheapy, I think it's an okay performance, mm. and since it's cheaper than other fragr fragrances, you can spray it on mm. when you need to. Yeah, so I mean, if you can find this cheap, uh, then go for it. Uh, I believe most people would um, like it on you, yeah. so it's like a pretty safe one. Yes. Okay, next up is this one. Thank you. And here we have a fruity, sweet, woody and powdery vanilla fragrance. Mm. And we have notes like pear, mango, white peach, rhubarb, grapefruit mandarin. Then some uh, floral notes like orchid, jasmine of lily and the, li <laughs> and lily of the lily valley. Of the valley. Ah. We have vanilla, akigala wood, musk sandalwood and patchouli. Wow. A ton of notes, yes. uh, and I think that's why it's so hard to pick any any special ones out of this. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely it's definitely sweet and fruity. Yeah. Um, I like it, and I'm gonna guess that this is it, this could actually be another Rasasi. Oh. But I don't know if you have that many that Rasasis. That is a good guess because it does remind me of Rasasi fragrances, but it's not. Mm, but I do recognize the scent, but I have no idea what it is. But I, I do like it. I think it's pretty nice, but it's not uh, for those of you who don't enjoy sort of a sweeter fragrances um, and fruity fragrances. Uh, but um, maybe three and a half. Okay, so uh, this is actually one of my favorites and one of my favorites to layer with Bentley for Men. Mm -hmm. uh, this together with Bentley for Men is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually got um, my friend to buy this or mm -hmm. she smelled me and she just ran straight into the ram. She just opened her phone and just ordered it straight mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So, and every time I meet her, uh, she always puts this on and I just go around sniffing her and mm -hmm. thinking she smells so amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is one that I like myself on me and also on uh, other people. Mm -hmm. So the one you have smelled is, uh, I need to get the name right here, Gold Fresh Couture from Moschino. Mm -hmm. A Moschino yeah. one. And actually in one of my other videos, there was... Um, um, uh, woman, I think, mm -hmm. uh, asking what you thought about this one. Mm -hmm. So there mm -hmm. you go, you have your answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
No, I mean, I, I really enjoy it. I think uh, if it's a cheap beer, then it's no, a no-brainer. Uh, but it, it is a bit different from the other ones. Yeah. And to me, this is like way more at, to the sweet side and to the sort of fruity side. Yeah. Uh, did, did it have any berries in it? Uh, it has a ton of fruits, uh, but I don't think it has berries. Uh, no, it's the pear, mango, white peach, mm. rhubarb leaf, ah, grapefruit, okay. mandarin. Mm. Mm, yeah, this one is really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, so if it's a cheap one, go get it. So did you give it 3.5? I think so. Yeah, yeah. 3.54. Yeah. Um, go fresh couture from Moschino. So the next one up is this one. Mm -hmm. And... I'm going to read you the notes. This is a floral, yeah. uh, aquatic, fruity and sweet fragrance. Uh, we have notes such as magnolia, pear, lotus, jasmine, tuberose, cyclamen, musk, vanilla, white woods and sandalwood. Mm. So yeah, you can really pick out the sort of a floral bouquet that is in this one. Uh, and there's something at the base, but whatever is in the base, I think you mentioned vanilla and sandalwood or something. Yeah. Uh, whatever that is, that mix, that mix is not that pronounced. Uh, everything takes a backseat to the floral side of this one. Yeah. Uh, but I do like that there's uh, something else besides the floral side, yeah. which makes it sort of a bit more mass appealing, a bit nicer, rounder. Um, I like it. Mm, but just uh, if, you, if you don't enjoy florals, then you should probably stay away from this one. <laughs> yes. um, but I mean, this one could uh, this one could have been sold by another company for uh, way more uh, than what it probably costs. Yeah. So I'm impressed. Um, I have no idea what it is though, but I like okay. it. I think this for a floral, this is bit like a score based on a floral. For a for a floral, this is three point seventy five. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So um, this is actually one that I love to wear and mm -hmm. one that always gets me compliments. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I often spray on quite a lot, mm -hmm. uh, but I spray it on and then I travel to work like 45 minutes and then I get in the elevator and then my colleague goes into the elevator after me and mm -hmm. comes into the office and says, oh, I know Sandra's here ah. and it smells so good. So which so, one is it? This one is Curious from Britney Spears. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. And this is actually the one that uh, you made fun of me for having before you smell it first. Yeah, I think this the the a long story short, when you and I just uh, <laughs> met, um, she told me that one of her favorite fragrances were um, Britney Spears, uh, and. Obviously, I was wrong, <laughs> uh, but I sort of laughed because, I mean, come on, Britney Spears. Uh, I mean, she's probably backed up by some great noses that help yeah. her make her fragrances. Uh, but I didn't expect anything good to come with the name, from the name of Britney Spears. Yeah. Um, and since then, you actually took in a ton, like hundreds and hundreds of recommendations from me, and you really expanded your collection. Yeah. And then suddenly I got a sniff of this Britney Spears, and I was like, whoa, this is pretty nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, positively uh, surprised, and uh, yeah, next time I shouldn't sort of bash Britney <laughs> no. Spears or Ariana Grande or whatever, yeah. because <laughs> they might actually be really nice. Yeah, and uh, just a disclaimer, no hate on Britney Spears. She's no. great at many things, but I didn't, I, didn't also, I didn't either expect her to do good fragrances, but this no. is really good. I guess the reason why I thought Britney Spears couldn't do good stuff is because it feels like her time has sort of passed. Now, this could be an oldie, uh, but I mean, yeah, exactly. a lot of the new fragrances that are coming out from uh, like pop stars, music, uh, you know, celebrities and all that. Those are actually quite nice, uh, but they are produced uh, like in the modern times. Uh, 
yeah. with the great noses. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that was. Uh, but I'm I'm just I'm I'm glad when I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't know everything, and that was uh, a good. And I buy. actually do think you're you're very right about it being. Um, uh, old one. I mm. think I've had it for like 15 years Whoa. or so. Yeah. Ah, so okay. I just keep buying a new bottle because it's so cheap. So every time I ran out of it, I just bought a new one. Mm. But does it last? Is it good? Is it? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so as I said, I could leave my house and still mm. smell in the elevator when I left the elevator at work. And I'm going to guess that this is like a super cheapy. It's a super cheapy. Yes. Ah, okay. I think I get a hundred mil milliliter bottle for like 150 or 200 mm. uh, no <laughs> 15 or 20 bucks ah. yeah <laughs> so yeah if if uh, any of you out there uh, that are watching this uh, enjoy florals um, then uh, you should probably check this one out especially since it seems that it's so cheap yeah. Uh, so yeah go Brittany Okay, so uh, I once again, the goldfish memory is back. Did you say three point? Yes, you said 3.75. Yeah, I think and I And I was yeah. kind of happy because that's a good rating. Ah. Yeah. So uh, let's check out the next one. Cool. And now we are up to one that I'm not sure that you have smelled before. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a citrus, fruity, vanilla, aromatic, soft and spicy, sweet and powdery fragrance. Mm. And we have some uh, citrus in the top, some black currant. Then we have some uh, florals like rose, jasmine, lily. We have apricot, vanilla, tonka bean, musk, amber, and cedar. So yeah, you can pick up uh, not all of those, but I do pick up the um, black currant. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you said musk. Yes, I did. But there seems to be something musky in it as well. And um, like a citrus mix on top as well. So this one to me is a bit citrusy. Uh, bits like like semi fruity, uh, but really light and bright, um, and I like it. Okay. It feels like a, a nice one that you could put on. You can put it on anytime you want, uh, but that would be perfect for those warmer days. Um, I have a feeling that this m one might disappear a bit too quickly uh, in the sort of the when it's really cold outside. Yeah, it might be. Um, um, I actually can't remember. But I do know that when I use it, I uh, walk around in a fragrance cloud that I really mm -hmm. enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and especially sitting in a car. <laughs> I like it. It smells uh, way more expensive, I think, than, than what it probably is. Yes. Um, but it could be that there's something in this one that might be a bit uh, like a turn off especially if you maybe overspray it. Ah, There's something yeah. in it that it I feel heavy. that someone could sort of uh, get uh, annoyed by yeah. with. Uh, but it's, 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 I'm, I'm surprised. These are, all, these are all really good. Okay, um, happy to hear that. So if you're gonna rate it. This reminds me of something like a cheap version of maybe a Valentine or something. Mm. Uh, so, but I like it. I think this one is a three and a half. Okay, so the one you were smelling was Amor Amor Whoa. from Cacherel. I heard about Cacherel, but I have no <laughs> idea what, what they are up to. Are they like, is it a fashion brand or do they specializing in like a I garbage? I think it's both, both fragrances and fashion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. I don't have, yeah, maybe Cacherel. I think that might be an old, really old, old brand. Yeah. I think they do men's fragrances as well. Yeah, they probably do. But I don't know where to buy them. Uh, yeah. But interesting. Yeah. This was... Uh, this was uh... Casherel, isn't them the one who, who also made uh, Anais Anais? <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know what it is. Okay. There's a female fragrance with the name Anais Anais, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> so if anyone knows about that, if Casherel is the producer, uh, mm. put in in the comments and we will learn something new. And please do uh, comment if you uh, like this one. Yeah. I'm curious how many of you out there uh, enjoy it and how many of you out there maybe have anything else from Casherel. Yeah, or um, anything else from this list. But you don't have anything else from Cacherel? Uh, no, this is ah, okay. the only one. Okay. But I, this is also one that I, I think I bought it the first time when I bought the Britney Spears one. Mm. So I, I, um, 
I used those two and switched between them. So mm -hmm. I went smelling like Britney Spears and then... So like this, this is this is in uh, Old Angolia? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, cool. And uh, there was many years when I didn't have it, but then I found one in the store and I just had to get mm -hmm. it because I know it's one that I like. Okay. So yeah. uh, you gave it three and a half. Yeah. And let's move on and check out the next one. So we are up to the last one. And that is cool. this one. So here we have something that is citrusy, aromatic, fresh and spicy, ozonic, woody. We have notes such as grapefruit, ozonic notes, bergamot, ginger, coconut nectar, uh, osmanthus, cedar, musk, vetiver and vanilla. Mm. And I think you know this one. Mm. Um, I actually, I don't know this one. Uh, but uh, I really like it. It's uh, really light. Uh, it's really bright. It's smooth. It has a slight hint of sweetness in the base, but it's just sweet uh, and slight sweetness. So it's not super heavy in any way. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoy fragrances like this because they sort of pop out and say hello and start flirting with you and then they sort of sit closer to your skin and then they pop out again and I love that stuff. Uh, and there's something seductive when you have about it, when you have something that you can feel that there's some sweetness to it, but the sweetness never becomes too much or anything. No. And uh, yeah, this one sort of gives me vanilla vibes vibe but like a really cheap one so i'm not mm -hmm. saying that this smells like um juliet has a gun vanilla vibes because no. it does not but it has that sort of the same vibe where That's it's summery. slightly sweet it's yeah. really light bright and nice yeah. mm. and very summerish i think yeah. both of these are yeah definitely so um if you're going to rate it mm. Another one that this m might remind me of is something from Dolce and Gabbana, one of their sort of a light blue ones. Uh, but yeah, m at least 4.25. So uh, the funny thing about this one is that you uh, recently reviewed uh, Light Blue, which is one of your absolute favorites, mm. and Light Blue Sun. And you did say in the review that this, of course, reminds you of uh, the Light Blue uh, mm. the original one but not that much mm. so i'm not surprised that you didn't pick up that this is light blue sun mm, because they are quite different ah. but they have something that uh, reminds of each mm. other so if you want to check out that uh, fragrance re review for light blue and light blue sun i will put the link in the description um so check that out it's a really good review so light blue sun got four and 25 yeah it's really nice yeah, it really is. And actually, uh, worth mentioning, this is, I think, made for men. Um, mm. So this is in the male section, but I think it goes so well yeah, with yeah. men and women. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that was the last one. Mm. Four fragrances on this list got higher than four from you. And I would like you to give us your top three. Mm. Uh, so starting out with the one on third place. Mm. The one or the ones. This is really, really tough, but I do already know that these two, and I believe I gave these two the highest score. Yes. Uh, these two are coming out on top, but for these two then, oh, Darish Pufem is really, really nice. There's something unique about it, uh, but I really enjoy the sort of the freshness of uh, light, no. Uh, first, like instinct first instinct blue, blue. Uh, they are so different so this is like a toss-up i could choose whichever <laughs> one of those uh, and this is just like a preference this one to me is sweeter and way sweeter and a bit like powdery and all that stuff uh, so they are so different so i'm gonna choose i can't make a decision they are like a split. Okay, so, the, so yeah. th this is a split to yeah. third place. Yeah. yeah. And all I'm gonna say is that if you enjoy really sort of a sweet fragrances, then go for Daraj. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that um, most people are going to like it on you. Uh, I use both Daraj Pour Femme and Daraj Pour Homme, and I always get compliments for them. Yeah. Uh, but if you want something that is a bit fresher um, and way less powdery and all that stuff, that is going to make most people 
like it on you, then go for this one. Yeah. Um, so a uh, split third pl place for those. Um, and this is really hard. So I give yeah. this one four and a half and I give uh, Light Blue Sun uh, 4.25. Um, but they are so different. Yes, they so are. this one is sweet and seductive uh, and yeah, like alluring, mysterious and all of that stuff. This is like the perfect date fragrance. If you want to seduce someone, then you put this one on <laughs> and you are going to seduce that person. Uh, this one is really nice and like slightly sexy but in a completely different way. So this one is light, bright, perfect for those warm days. Uh, and it has that sort of a suntan lotion vibe to it. Uh, so if you enjoy lighter fragrances that are perfect for those warm days, then yeah, this is your choice. Um, so this is, it's so hard when you have two different ones. But if I have to choose one, I'm still going to go with Fatal Intense as number one okay. because it's just, I love sexy fragrances and this is sexy. Um, but since these are like cheapies, I would say go for both of these if you can. And then you have the perfect winter slash sexy fragrance. And then you have the perfect one for those warm days or when you are going on a vacation. Yeah. Or when you just want something light and fresh on you, like if you're going to the gym or whatever it could be. Yeah, or some something like you said. Uh, this is full on seduction mm. and this is just flirting. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, thank you so much for coming over. Happy this to be was here. fun. Uh, like the video, subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.